Hello, my name is Steve Weller, Technical Marketing Manager for EMC Networker. I'm here today to talk to you about the integration we've done between Networker and Data Domain Boost software. We're going to touch on performance, full replication management, and how we've done what we've done for ease of use around this. So let's start with what we've done with the actual integration. We've taken the Data Domain Boost library and embedded it inside the Networker Storage Node code. So what this actually does is removes or moves some of that processing from the data domain system out to the networker storage node. So what happens is, as my networker client runs a backup to the storage node, the stream gets put to the storage node. And the storage node does a comparison, leveraging the boost library with the data domain system, and looks for any unique data therefore sending only unique data to the data domain system. From a load perspective, because we're moving some of that processing off to the storage node, we're lowering the load or the work that the data domain system actually has to do. Because the storage node as well is only moving unique data segments to the data domain system, it's going to require less bandwidth. So we're going to lower our bandwidth utilization. Now, contrary to what you may think, by moving this processing to the network or storage node, we'd be adding load there. Think about the storage node as actually just a data mover. The hardest working part of that is moving the data, packaging it up, moving that data out to the target system. But because we're only going to be moving unique segments or unique pieces of data, we're actually going to be lowering the load that the network or storage node has to do. So what this brings to you is overall up to 100% performance improvements when you use network or data domain, and, uh, as well as across the board load reduction. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about how Networker fully manages the replication process. So with the mature Networker cloning functionality, we have the ability to create copies, but leveraging the data domain replication on the back end. So how this works is, Networker server, based on a schedule that you create, requ requests a clone copy from the storage node. The storage node then tells the data domain system, being aware that it's actually a data domain system we're writing to, create a clone. So the data domain system says, ah, Networker wants a clone. I'm going to create a replicated copy out to my secondary site. So from my primary copy, to my secondary copy, fully indexed inside the networker server catalog. So now I have the ability to actually have multiple copies, fully tracked inside the network catalog, and fully recoverable from either one. As well, on top of this, I have the ability to create multiple retention policies per copy I make. So for example, let's say our primary location, we want to keep our data there only for one month. OK, but before that, that one month expires, I want to get another copy off site because I actually want to keep it for a little bit longer. So I'm going to send it out to my secondary site in Boston, and now I'm going to create a retention policy for one year. So now any data that gets cloned from, from this set based on that policy to this system gets a one-year retention policy. Now, I also have a requirement to keep certain specific data for much longer, say five years. Now, a five-year retention policy probably fits more along something like a tape. So I create a tape out here, and I give it a five-year five retention policy. Now we can actually have Networker generate a, another clone job based on a schedule, requests that secondary storage node out at that remote location to create a clone. The storage node asks the data domain system, which sends the data back to the storage node, writes it back out to the tape, where it inherits that five-year retention policy all completely individually manageable and indexed inside the networker server. So now let's talk about what we've done to make this easier to use. We've created new device configuration wizards that give you the ability to auto-configure data domain systems inside your networker management console. The ability to actually browse into the data domain system and create the devices that you need in there without actually going to a separate management console. 
We've also integrated with the SNMP trapping functionality of the data domain system to give you visibility into the entire infrastructure. So being able to be aware of actually activity going on on the hardware side of the, of the environment so you get a full view of what's going on in your environment. All of this is done and leveraging as well some of the fantastic reporting capabilities that the Networker Management Console gives you, very specific to the data domain system it, it, itself. Things like reporting very clearly on deduplication ratios that you might need or get from any particular backup you've done. And again, all this is done through the single interface of the Networker Management Console, so one place to go to monitor and manage your entire infrastructure. So in summer, we've covered what we've done to enhance performance in your environment, to fully manage the replication functionality of the data domain system by using what you're already familiar with or the, the mature network or cloning functionality, as well keeping in mind how we've done this to ensure that you can do it all from a very simple management console and get it done quickly. For EMC, I'm Steve Weller.